Hi, this is Donald the Repentless. I want to talk about something that comes up in my discussions with um, creationists, whether they be Christian or otherwise. This ideal of God being this spaceless, timeless entity that somehow exists outside of time and space. Now, every time I try to write this, uh, write a script for this, I keep fumbling over myself and trying to find the proper word. So I'm just going to do this without a script, and hopefully I don't muddle up the ideals too much. But I have several problems with this ideal of a, spa a spaceless, timeless entity existing. Now, the first problem is, as the only thing that we can measure and compare anything to is the universe in which we live in. So, how could you prove? And they can't prove that there's this timeless, spaceless entity outside of the universe, because as far as we know, there isn't anything outside of the universe. Another problem is, if this is a spaceless being, where does the thoughts and mind of this entity actually reside? Now, because outside of the ideal of space, because any intelligent being would have to have some space in which it can form ideals in. A spaceless entity wouldn't be able to have an internal dialogue, for example, like human cognizance and thought. Further, how could, okay, further, let me back up a little. Time, at least as I understand it, I'm not a physicist, I'm not going to go into any kind of deep, um, trying a yeah, deep, like, definition. But for me, well, go back again, Einstein once said that we have time so that everything doesn't happen at once. Now, time is a sequence of events that happens. It is literally, to my understanding, the actual measurement of movement of anything. If even if the universe was an atom, if that atom moves, you have time because it has something that is measurable as moving through. Okay, sorry about the the jump cuts, but I got interrupted really quickly and had to do something. Um, as I was saying, time is a measurement of movement through space. Now. In the case of a god who is timeless, how could he have some point where he has some thought? Because in a sequence of events, one would have to begin to have a thought before a thought forms. And if this thought is happening in null space or no space, how could this thought be generated by a mind that is literally existing in no space. Further, without time, all things that he knows is happening simultaneously. How does one organize his thoughts into a, co in a coherent way without consideration of time? Because whenever I have an ideal, I think about it, I get the ideal for first, then I consider it and work through this based upon on the things that I've learned over time in my life. A timeless being wouldn't have this kind of organization within its thinking because everything is happening at once. It, the universe would be an ideal the beginning of ideal, a completion of ideal, all at once. No wonder the Christian God is a trilogy, trinity, a, a split personality. I mean, 
with all these things going on simultaneously in this mind of God, it's not surprising that he has multiple personalities. Because how do you organize these thoughts? How do you organize actions into a sequence when there's no time for this sequence to happen in? Um, like I said, I might be modeling up all these thoughts and all these things in my mind, but no matter how you phrase it, you know, you can say, oh, oh, it's beyond our understanding. No, we can understand time. We can understand thought processes. It just doesn't seem, based on anything that we know or can ever know, that organization of thoughts within a timeless space, not even space because he's also spaceless, a mind existing in nothing, having organized thoughts without time does not seem a very logical being, or even the concept of such a being is not very logical considering everything we know about thought, about mind, and what we know in physics and all that. And the Christian theologists or, or apologist or whatever, Muslim, even Muslim theology, you know, any theology that proposes a being that is timeless and spaceless has these problems that their God having no space in which to have internal thought cannot possibly have internal thought and without time to organize it how does he know the difference between the beginning of an ideal the ideal itself the actions to complete the ideal and the actual work of completing the ideal because all these things are happening simultaneously I cannot think of a way that a brain or a mind because he doesn't have a physical brain being spaceless could do all these things and keep it straight in his mind but like I said, I hope I haven't muddled this up too much, but I'm not going to go on. I mean, this is probably about seven minutes already. But the bottom line is, until someone can demonstrate that thought can happen outside of a brain and that a mind can exist outside of any kind of space or time or combination of the two, and have any way of coherently expressing itself or organizing thoughts and ideals into to some systematic way without having first learned everything that he knows. And to say that, well, he has no beginning, that's basically meaningless. Without time, infinity could be in one second. And you wouldn't know the difference between that and a million years. So, the whole thing, <laughs> sorry, is just a confusing mess. And the fact that deists seem to think that somehow this whole jumble of ideals in a being that has no space in which to internalize thoughts and no time in which to organize those thoughts can exist in any form that can even be understood by itself, let alone anyone else, it just seems ridiculous to me. Further, especially the Christian creationists talk, you know, the Bible says, and God, you know, God said this and it happened. Now, even ideals. Okay, internalized ideals do not become speech unless there is a mouth or other, other mechanism that can vibrate something, which a spaceless being would have nothing to vibrate in any way to form 
the sounds that form words. Moreover, what language does he use, and when did he learn it? Is it a word? He, is it a language he made up? I mean, and they don't even try to answer these questions. They say, "Well, don't think about it." Is God? It, he knows what he's doing. It would seem that, to me, going back to that point, a spaceless being would not have a space to have these thoughts or any way to have these thoughts without a mind which would have to take up some space because even ideals take up space within the neurons of a mind and exist inside those that space within our skulls. Without any skull, without any sort of place where these ideals can form, how do you form these ideals? How would you have how would you know that a being could form these ideals, could form these words in a spaceless void? Because that's, that's actually all it would be, is a spaceless void. So, like I said, I hope I haven't jumbled things up too much. If you like this video, thumbs up it, consider sharing it, um, and subscribing to my channel. This is Donald the Repentless. Oh, and if you have any comments, please put them down below in the, in the comment section. But thank you again for watching. This is Donald the Repentless. Signing off. Be awesome, everyone.